What if Deku had a stand? Part 2. So I've been away for a long time. So sorry about that. I'll be a report. I'll be uploading on Friday on Saturday or after uh, at 4 today. 4 or whenever. I don't know if it's updated today or sat Sunday. So yeah. Thanks. Let's get a 30 subscribers. We're only one subscriber away. So, if some of you who've seen the video, please subscribe. And yeah, let's get let's get started. So, in the last part, All Might told him Deku gave him his quirk. They they just started a new way. So, where I left, I'm sorry, I'm here just watching this part. What are you doing? Hmm? What the hell are you doing? Go watch the last part. I'll leave it in the link in the description below. So yeah, let's do this. So Deku is about to fight with the with, with him. And he's saying to Uraka, Uraka, how about you go? You go try and fight Bakugo. Wait, no, you try and take take the bomb. No, I'll go for Bakugo. And then he said, "Stop letting him out." And he's walking. Is there any danger? Because Bakugo wants to stop letting him. That's good for Deku because he knows he has an advantage. And there was a really, really strong body. So anything Bakugo tries to pull, Deku can block with Star Platinum and hit and hit him. And so, when he, he tries to find Bakugo, but then Bakugo, he finds Bakugo and he's saying, Okay, we're yelling, Deku! Like, right at his voice, like, at the top of his lungs. And then he says, Stop letting him! And then Stop letting him goes, Woo, 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 woo. So, doing the barrage. And so, when he does this barrage, he does this like very soft so it doesn't hurt Bakugo as much so it's where it breaks a couple bones on Bakugo he breaks his ribs but Bakugo not, doesn't stand so then he crushes his legs and saying but not to the point where they can't be healed but they can be healed he's saying give up and Bakugo saying I'll never give up to a damn nerd you got it then and then starts pounding on his face with his normal body and then punches his gut with his stand, breaking, shattering his rib, the remaining ribs that are not broken, breaking them. And so he breaks Bakugo's arm, making him immobilized. And so he tries to find the bomb. Uraka just laughed, and so he's like, oh, "Really?" So he's like, he stops time. Zoardo, he stops time, and then goes. And then Warren's touched the bomb, then we start the time again. I'm always saying, Izuku and Uraraka are the winner. And then Kaburi has to come all the way there and saying, Young Izuku, stop doing this. And he's like, fine. But I won't hurt him as, as bad. And so All Might decides to tell him about Dia Diablo. Two villains like give him the injury. Off one s explains a little bit of them and tells him about Diablo. But Diablo, like uh, he couldn't see his powers. Anything that's so something what you have. I'm like, oh, a stand, huh? And so he does that. And so when he says, oh, a stand, yeah, he said that. And there's one more guy who we need to look out for. Dio Brando and his son, uh, Gorono Kuchivana. He's a good guy. He's Isn't Gorono their fifth hero? He's saying, yeah, he is. He probably will try and get you because he has stand for the sports festival. Wait, the sports festival? We're just getting there. Then like... Okay, you have to go back to class now. Goodbye. Bye, all my. 
And so he's just been this in the all my questioning in his mind. What have I done? And so he he goes. And he, the, Izuku's saying, yes, and Aizawa decides to tell them about the e, USJ. We're going to, we're going to a, on our first field trip for the year. Please don't, please be quiet. I don't really care what you do or whatever. And the whole class is pumped saying, field trip, field trip, field trip. And it's like, yes, 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 yes. Deku's just rolling his eyes, like trying to s- not stand up. Cause he's not really that excited because of his cool personality. There. And so when he does this, he just goes outside to try and train one for all. And so when they go and insert on his hero costume, to the point where he tries to master wearing it. And so the week passes were at the USJ. So we they get there and Deku says, I sent some villains. How do you know that? They're real ones, not fake ones. She uh, thirteen saying, Wait, what? And then she, and then the door just suddenly opens. He's saying, Come on, there's villains, Star Platinum And then Star Platinum is visible to see four people for the teachers because he's made it visible for them. That's an ability he has. Making a stand visible to people. That's what I'm giving it. So he makes it visible to the teachers and then it's like, oh. And then so he does his job, he does his work. He stop letting him taking out villains, beating them, to, beating them to a pole, breaking their bones. He does not care, he, but he doesn't want to kill them. He just beats them up, saying, and then Nomu comes out. He's like, "Ooh, a challenge!" And he says, "Star Platinum." After it, and so he stops time. He, he, Deku, and Star Platinum start punching him, and so they do, and so they actually break Nomu's head off, and then he's like, uh, "Not yet, not yet." And then keeps on trying to squash, and then they keep on punching it, punching his body. And he's and then like right at its heart, no, his heart. And so each time a punch is getting thicker and thicker and thicker, to the point where Yuka can feel the heart. And so Deku punches. He sees the heart, and he's like, because he always has a knife on him, like Dio. So he gets a knife, he chucks it, and then says, "Useless." And doing the mora 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 thing that Dio did on Joseph, and this was one knife was enough to kill uh, Nomu, and he's just doing this and doing this and doing this, and then he starts time after ten seconds. But that taking stopping time for ten seconds is really draining for him, and so Shigaraki says, "No no no no, no that no that no was supposed to kill all oh, might." And so he's saying back up, and then he's like, and then all for one says, and then in the monitor we cut to all for one in the monitor saying, Diablo go help him, and he's saying fine, and then Diablo comes out and he's like, yo, yo, yo Diablo, <laughs> Diablo, and then he and then it's like you guys said stay back, we need backup, eat a run and call all mate. And and we and try to find, uh, and try to find Goro Guchivana. He worked. He works somewhere at UA for a teacher, and so this is where I need. This is where he calls All Might, and then he's like, "What? Diavolo? Diavolo? Diavolo's here!" And he rushes here and saying, "Teach staff, teachers, we need you. Come on." And so they find Goron and Guchivana, and so he comes. They all come there, and then once they arrive, they see Diablo be- beating, trying to beat up Deku, and Deku's not having it. So he's, and so he's a race time where Deku is, and then punching, 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 
and then all my witnesses this and getting mad he goes into buff mode and this and goes after Diablo he's saying Diablo come back here you are gonna pay in his angry voice when he was playing and then you say and then yeah and then say oh oh my <laughs> come here and then his dopio personality kicks in He's like, what am I doing here? And then his Diablo personality kicks back in. Like, ah, don't, don't be a stop. Let me take control. And so when he does this, he is able to destroy. And then, and then, uh, and then so bullets start piercing him. He's like, what? But his Dan couldn't catch them because they're going way too fast. One piercing his shoulder and shoulders and his elbows, and he's like, "Cut the head!" And so he does not play. He summons King Crimson, and he starts beating Ed shot to a pole. The Gun Hero. I forgot what his name is. Uh, not sure what his name is. If I was calling him wrong, please correct me in the comments. So he just beats down, giving him a beat down non-stop. He does not want to give up. He is going to kill him at this rate. And Deku's saying, no, don't do that to him. Do it to me if you're going to do that. And he's saying, oh, I'll take both of you. And then he shows him the stand saying, hurra. This is the platinum. Zawarado, stopping time. But while he stopped time, he's punching. And then giving all my the ability use time and goes into Detroit smash mode. United States just smashes him and keeps on doing his moves until his moves run out. And so he has to leave and then he exits the building and then he's saying Gordon and gives the ability for Gordon Gucci to keep do his job and he's saying and he heals Ed shot. Meaning healing the gun hero. I'm not sure his name is again. But please correct me in the comments again. He starts healing him and saying, I'm on it. And then you and then bring the stand out saying, Golden Wind. I mean, Golden Experience. And so Golden Experience comes out and saying, what, 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 what? It's saying it's words like just punching, 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 punch after punch after punch after punch after punch. He makes this a brutal stand down. Between them, and so you like ah no, and then so he has to retreat. Sugar Rocky, let's go. Yuta Kurigiri, open the portal. Let these dogs stay. We have to escape. He shoots Sugar He shoots Sugar two hands. So he's like ah, and then starts sh and then shot the hand on his face off, and then they see his face, and then he's like just run, book it. And then they exit the portal. And then All Might has to go into bus, bus form. Bus form. Yeah, because still has, he still has one hour left. And so, a whole hour left. Because time stop doesn't affect him. Doesn't affect his ability. And so he did that. And so, like... <clears throat> and then when he falls down, he collapses unconscious on the floor and Kirigiri is trying to heal him and so the, the media tries to break in in the cannon and so as I was told them about the sports festival and so we will leave that for the next part and so like and subscribe for part two see ya bye bye